go ahead and start out with some ground rules. Uh, let's create a safe environment in which every participant feels free to speak by reserving criticism and negativity. Listen to the views of others with an open mind, looking for new approaches and the possibilities their ideas open up. Seek common ground and build on the ideas of others. By the way, it's on the back side of the area if you want to follow along. Encourage everyone to participate and share their ideas. Speak responsibly, emphasize the positive. Do not interrupt another speaker or engage in side conversations or other distracting behavior when others are speaking. Avoid confrontation and personal attacks in favor of support, oh, attacks in favor of support and encouragement. When a group has a leader, use a hand signal and wait to be acknowledged before speaking. Okay, adoption of agenda. I second it. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed? No. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens. So, you don't want to mention Oh, and we, okay. Michael wants me to mention we do have a secretary um, that will be coming here shortly. Um, the membership committee. Um, just want to remind everybody that we, uh, are, the way our uh, organization is run is uh, we, we rely on both the membership dues as well as um, donations. So I guess it's just probably half by the donation That's how we pay for all the things we do, which is uh, a lot of things. Uh, so. Okay, and while that's, while that's going on. Uh, if anybody wants to get members, we can talk to that.
live music, very San Francisco kind of place, with the same kind of entertainment, uh, a very low level amplification. There are no residential units above. And I've concocted this fact sheet for you. Um, with us here tonight is Mark Rennie, who's the attorney working on the liquor license transfer. So if you have any questions about the liquor license, he's the person to ask. Uh, the architectural drawings are in progress, so we don't have them with us yet. Uh, the hours are going to be daily from 6 to 2 a.m. And he will be applying for an entertainment license and will hire local musicians of probably a three-piece band. And uh, if you need to follow up with any questions, you can contact me. My information is at the bottom of the fact sheet. Uh, Sam, you want to explain more? Yeah, uh, I bought the, this building 10 years ago and uh, I opened the gallery and I was uh, the first one who went out of business because I didn't compromise my integrity because most of the galleries were selling stuff and saying it's from France, it's from Europe and it was all from China. So they put me out of business. So I went out of business and then I applied through you and you were generous enough to give me two licenses, a wine tasting license and a liquor license. And I would be surrendering these two licenses, uh, which I have now, uh, to get a lounge license. And I will be employing like maybe 25 to 30 people in my lounge. Hopefully that works out. That's my last try for business on Union Square. If it doesn't work, I'm going to lease the property. Because I am the only, I am maybe one or two people on Union Square which have, uh, what do you call it, which is a private enterprise. Most of the people on Union Square like are chains and they are putting us out of business. We have Walgreens which is applying for liquor processing. We, I mean, there is nothing we, the competition is so great and the expense is so high, so we're dying basically. And that's our only hope. So I hope you guys, with your blessings, I can, you can tell me, go ahead and I give it the last try. Thank you very much. We take your questions? Yeah, do we have any questions? Susan? Is that 6 a.m. to 2 a.m.? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. Just wanted to clear. Uh, the first license which we got, we got so many conditions on it that you put me out of business before you put me in business. Because now I cannot sell liquor under $24. I cannot open after 12 midnight, uh, night, uh, uh, 11 midnight. You put so many conditions and I was stupid enough to accept them. And this is why I'm out of business. Because I, I cannot breathe with these conditions. I cannot breathe, <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know when business does come, and I have to be open just in case business comes at certain hours. And now uh, they told me I cannot sell malt liquor, which I'm not selling now. They told me I cannot sell half pints and pint containers, which I'm not selling. So they constricted my licenses for fifth and uh, liters. And when a Union Square customer comes for one day, two days, he doesn't want to buy a liter of liquor because they don't know what to do with it. So they go around the corner or they go to the other Walgreens and buy from there. Uh, what, what plans do you have for security for the site? There is a camera, is personnel? We uh, have 72-hour uh, security cameras and we will have 12 of them. 8 to 12 of them, and then we have a monster on the door because nobody will be coming in unless he's 21. And we are basically going to do a two or three, uh, uh, what do you call it, people band with a nice uh, piano and jazz playing San Francisco songs and featuring the cable car and so on. Yeah, this is kind of related. Um, what do you, um, I'm not that familiar with the venue, um, but I know smoking is a big thing, so um, what do you plan to do in terms of that? Um, have, is there any like area inside that's like smoking, like a smoking patio, or is it going to be off the street? Yeah. 
And if so, how are you going to keep that tidy in? Well, like my other restaurants now, which I have, you are not allowed smoking, and I have liquor licenses. And nobody can smoke even in the front of the restaurant. They have to be 15 feet or 25 feet or more, and we abide by the law. You know? And we are, you know, enforcing the law. You know, I, I don't recommend smoking for anybody, so. It's never. Um, and then uh, my next question, you mentioned about the ethnic um, drawings. Um, right. They, they're not available yet. You well, we are we doing have... a rendering, you know, for you guys. And Mr. Stefano uh, communicated to the committee uh, commi here. And we will be getting the rendering to you before the end of this month. I hired two people to do it, uh, you know, to draw it. And also, we have a contest in the Art Academy for students to see which design they come up with. And we are paying $500 for the chosen design. And uh, the so, so what's the theme that you're going by? Just cable car? Cable car, San Francisco. Or are you not using your name, Sam? At the... Sam's cable car. Yeah, no, no, I'm just saying that. Sam, like Uncle Sam. <laughs> no, no, that's Sam. Sam. Because uh, I think a uh, cable car lump was taken, you yeah. know, and I wanted just so that uh, I, I don't infringe on the name. Oh, yeah, of course. There's, that's why. There's a cable car lunch on California. Oh, yeah. You know, this is the reason. It's not me. I'm not. Thank you. Great. Any other questions? Um, it looks like there's some contact information down at the bottom where you can contact them via email or